Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 11 of integration series. In today's lecture, I'm going to take a previous KVPY question which was asked in the year 2014. Now the question is, let's say small n be a non-negative integer, then find the value of i of n upon n factorial plus i of n minus 2 upon n minus 2 whole factorial where n is varying from 2 to infinity, where i of n is given as with the lower index n integration from 0 to pi by 2, x raised to power n cos of x d of x. So let's start. Now the first question which you're thinking is how to start this problem. Now here you need to observe the question and what they are asking and the hint is given in the question only. Okay. Now with power n, the lower index here is i of n. If the power becomes n minus 1, the lower index will be i of n minus 1. Similarly for power n minus 2, it becomes i of n minus 2. Now that is the hint in the question. They are asking i of n and i of n minus 2. Now using this integration, you have to find a formula, a reduction formula in i of n and i of n minus 2. That means here we need to convert the power into n and power n minus 2. I need two powers here, i of n and i of n minus 2. Using these two powers, I can generate i of n and i of n minus 2. Now for that, we need to apply by parts here. Why integration by parts or some people call this as uv rule. Why? Because I'm going to take this as first function and I'm going to take this as second function. We usually differentiate the first function and second function we integrate. So the moment we differentiate x s to power n, we'll get n into x s to power n minus 1. And again, if we differentiate, we'll get this as x s to power n minus 2. Now we need these two. That means we have to apply here by parts from a distance I can see here. So let's apply by parts and let's calculate a reduction formula between i of n and i of n minus 2. So let's apply. So i of n will be equal to first function into integration of second. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi by 2. Minus integration of differentiation of first. So differentiation of first will give you n into x s to power n minus 1 into sine of x. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi by 2 here. Now, let's calculate the first integral. So x s to power n sine of x. I'm going to put upper limit here. So when we put upper limit, we'll get pi by 2 whole s to power n. And sine pi by 2 is 1. The moment we put 0 here, sin 0 will give you 0 so that is 0 minus n times now see with n minus 1 I want the power n minus 2 because here i of n minus 2 is given that means again I'm going to take this as first function and this is second function I'm going to apply integration by parts so let's apply so n times first function as it is into integration of second so integration of second is minus cos of x minus integration of differentiation of first now n was already there, I have taken it outside and again if we differentiate first function we will get n minus 1 times x s to power n minus 2 that we require and integration of sine of x is minus cos of x so minus or minus plus cos of x d of x here. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi by 2 here. Now let's tackle this. So we here we have i of n as it is. Now uh, pi by 2 whole raised to power n is as it is here. Here we have lower limit 0, upper limit pi by 2. Now let's evaluate this separately. When we put pi by 2 here, cos of pi by 2 will give you 0. And when we put 0 here, x will give you 0. So this integral is gone, okay, and the value is 0 here. Now we have to tackle these two terms only, this first term and the last term here. So I'm going to take this term minus n on the other side, it will become n into n minus 1, as you can see and integration x s to power n minus 2 cos of x. As I told you, with power n minus 2, it will be i of n minus 2 and it will be equal to pi by 2 whole raised to power n. So finally, we have a reduction formula that gives you a relation between i of n and i of n minus 2. Now, in the next slide, I'm going to tackle this, what we need to calculate. In previous slide, I've calculated a reduction formula between i of n and i of n minus 2. Now we have to calculate i of n upon n factorial, i of n minus 2 upon n minus 2 factorial. Now in previous slide I've taken this as n is from 1, it should be 2, but this will not change anything. Now let's calculate this. So we need i of n by n factorial. That means here I'm going to divide by n factorial because immediately I need i of n by n factorial. So if you divide by n factorial, you will get i of n by n factorial plus n factorial you can write this as n into n minus 1. And you will get this as i of n minus 2. In denominator, we'll be having n minus 2 factorial. Now, it should be equal to pi by 2 whole raised to power n divided by 
and factorial. Now, summation of this means summation on left hand side i of n upon n factorial plus i of n minus 2 upon n minus 2 factorial. That means n is starting with 2 to infinity. We are going to take summation on right hand side also. We will get this as 1 by n factorial and pi by 2 whole is to power n. n is varying from 2 to infinity. Now if you open this, you will get a series. Okay, The series will be like this. 1 by 2 factorial and here you will get this as pi by 2 whole square plus 1 by 3 factorial and pi by 2 whole cube and this will go till infinity. Now this expansion looks similar to e raised to power of x. Now for a moment I am going to expand this e raised to power x here. The e raised to power x expansion looks like this. e raised to power x is 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial and this goes till infinity. And this is valid for x belongs to r. Now here I see if we put pi by 2 I will get a similar expansion. So let's check. So e raised to power pi by 2 will be equal to 1 plus pi by 2 plus 1 by 2 factorial multiplied by pi by 2 whole square and this goes till infinity. Now I see something is missing in this expansion that is 1 and pi by 2. So this value will be equal to e raised to power pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus 1. So this will be equal to this expansion. So our final answer is e raised to power pi by 2 minus pi by 2 minus 1 and that will be